What is going on everyone? I have a brand new movie review for you guys today and today we're discussing Alita Battle Angel. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button because this is where you guys can get early movie reviews, movie news, and any sort of geeky content. Plus you guys can get information and also check out Samashon Films down below where you guys can check out how to see movies early like Alita Battle Angel. Alita Battle Angel is directed by Robert Rodriguez and is very much executively produced by James Cameron. And I know James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez, if you read into this film, they have both been working on this film for a very long time, and I've always been very interested with this film, because I know it's based off a of manga, and personally, I've never really read a lot of the manga, but I've read some of it, and it's a pretty fascinating world and story. As Lita was coming up, I looked at the trailers, I was like, that has my interest, I'm peaked, let's see where this goes. I have to say, Alita Battle Angel rocked my world. What an exhilarating, absorbing, and just energetic paced film from top to bottom with a fluid and beautifully realized mythology and world. Maybe I'm the only one to be saying this, but coming out of this film buzzed. I am jacked for this film. I found this film to be just an energetic ride nonstop. The Battle Angel in a weird way is actually a coming of age story about a young woman who is she is and what her place is in this world this world full of cyborgs this world full of weird cultists and humans and weird sport games and in general just super sci-fi ish stuff that's the great take that robert rodriguez took within this film is making it a coming of age story for this girl finding her first love finding who she is believing who she is and figuring out what her position in this world is going to be with mixed in there of course this is an action sci-fi adventure as well and i don't know exactly where to start with this film because there was a ton that i loved about it and a ton that I really liked, and one most notable thing that I was not the biggest fan of. I mean, if I am talking about my cons, let's just get that right out of the way. I was not the biggest fan of the love interest in here. I get why he was in here. I understand where he was coming from, and I don't exactly know if it was how he was written or how the actor was performing him, but I felt like there could have been less of him. I understand, again, why he was in here. It's a part of her journey and her story to who she is becoming, but I didn't need him, honestly. I would have personally wanted more of a relationship with her and Christoph Waltz's character, the Doctor, or other than known, her father. I think their dynamics were some of the best parts earlier in the film, and again, I wanted more of that. Now with the cons out of the way, let's talk about Alita Battle Angels, all of its pros. The thing about Alita Battle Angel is this is a kick-ass film, top to bottom. I saw this film in a Dolby Digital Theater with 3D. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of 3D. The 3D, though... Is seamless. It's some of the best 3D I've seen since, well, Avatar. Makes sense because James Cameron was helping make this film. And the 3D, if you have the chance to see this in 3D or Dolby Digital or IMAX, whatever, you do want to go check it out on that because it is amazing. The fact that this world's completely built from the bottom to the top is insane. I think one of the big pros that I have for Alita Battle Angel isn't just a great coming of age story that I felt like they had built within this world to Alita and really having me fall in love with her character. I want more of Alita. I wanted more of just talking to her. And again, just as our main characters and her surrounding peers around her are also falling in love with her, you're finding yourself falling in love with her as well. Wanting in the sense to root her on, to kick ass, to become herself. And you heard me say kick ass because... Whoa, this has Robert Rodriguez's style all over it. Every single action scene, every single pacing to them is excellent. This is great action here. You're going to be on the edge of your seat, jaw on the floor, and I'm very surprised that this film is PG-13. Some of the action in here was like, whoa, that is, that's a man getting cut in half really just dug the action here. I don't exactly know where to start with it. There's so many great action scenes in here. There's one that takes place within a bar where she's just smashing people on the tables. There's another one that... There's a sport in here that revolves around them racing around a track trying to just beat each other over the head with this ball. And there's one sequence in here with it towards the end that is... Oh my god, like multiple times, I, I just kept getting closer and closer to the edge of my seat, trying not to lift my ass off because I was so, I felt glued to it because I was so engaged with what was going on. That's really what I can say more about Alita Battle Angels, I was engaged. I give you guys my final thoughts on Alito Battle Angel. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Are you guys excited for this film? Are you not? Let's talk about it down below. Alito Battle Angel is, again, an exhilarating sci-fi action adventure film that has an 
excellent performance by Rosa Salazar, who is wonderful in here. I've never seen her in anything, but I am looking forward to whatever I can get more of her from. I think the long development of this film was very much worth the wait for people who were waiting for this film and in general who had seen that first trailer and was blown away. I was especially. The action here, excellent. The story and the pacing of the film felt great. It didn't feel at all lagging or it felt like it was too long. It really felt perfectly paced, opened up a brand new world to explore, a world that I just fell in love with. Again, I fell in love with her, Alita herself and the coming of age story that she had for one another. Of the dynamic that she had with her father in here. And even though a lot of the other supporting characters besides our main two didn't love the love interest, the villain in here is kind of one dimensional. You don't get to know much about them. But there's a lot to love in this film. There, yeah, of course, there's going to be cons to it. But overall, if you're going into this film wanting an entertaining time to be sucked into a brand new world and want more, because I'm telling you that, I want more Alita. I want more of this world and I want to see where her story goes. Then Alita Battle Angel is an excellent film to go check out. With all that said, I'm going to give Alita Battle Angel an A-. Oh, what you guys thoughts are on Alita Battle Angel. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. Please go check it out opening weekend, guys. February 15th, the weekend of that. That is when you guys can go check out Alita Battle Angel. You do not want to miss it. I know it's going to be a busy week. Valentine's Day, happy that day to you. But promise me, guys, you're going to go check it out. Let's get this thing, check in some money. Let's make another sequel to Elite Battle Angel. Again, if you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe for all those early movie reviews. Check out Sandwich on Films, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy. Mm -hmm.